Okay, now move your fingers. Oh my gosh, that's much more. Whoa, different. playing a tune there, Chica? Looks good. Look at the bird. Are you blowing it? Come on, get that middle finger up there. Almost. <laughs> it's a baby bird. Baby bird. <laughs> tweet, tweet. Let's see that wrist and everything, too. Okay. Yeah. Oh. See those feet. Oh yeah. Lefty. Yeah, lefty's going side to side. Yep. Shaking it. Good. Shake, shake it, shake it. We decided to go on a date tonight. Celebrate Mother's Day and our birthdays that were recent. Where are we gonna go? First stop, the old Crest Hills Country Club. There's a decent chance that we were both here at the same time when we were young, but we just didn't know each other. You think so? I think so. Good My brothers and I, we all had our bar apartments for receptions either. Yeah. This is what it looks like now though. Whoever gets this contract to, to do something with this place, uh, let, it, let Leah's landscaping know. We'll clean this place up nice for you. But that's it, we just, we stopped here first, just to get around a little bit, get some air. I'm not gonna lie, I was pretty nervous. Going out of my comfort zone, which is our house, and the therapist's and the doctor's offices. It's just, it was in my head more than anything. Just cause I look a little different, but I'm still the same person. And I don't give a shit if anyone hmm. looks at me differently because I'm in a wheelchair. I have fought so hard the past seven months. And this is all temporary. I'm working on healing. And let me tell you, I am healing. No doubt. And I, wanna, I, I just want to state this for the record. This week... Our entire family and all of our care, all of our like nannies and everybody, got this ridiculous stomach bug. Lauren got it. Was that Wednesday overnight? Tuesday to Wednesday overnight. Three in the morning on Wednesday, she wakes up vomiting, and she felt terrible, and so she had to cancel her physical therapy that day. It was the first time she has skipped out on a therapy since her injury, and mm -hmm. the next morning. She still was not feeling great on Thursday, but what did she do? She packed up and went to therapy. And then on Friday, she did two therapy sessions. So if you don't think she's working hard, <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about because this girl is bringing it. I am bringing it because that's who I am. Hmm. And look at me, I'm stronger. Yeah. Super strong, building up muscles. Yeah, I don't. It's tough for this angle, but like she's got some, she's getting some weight back Thickness. on her. Yeah, she's that booty still has some work to do. You got to still keep eating for that. I know. But you definitely have put on weight. You're eating every meal, eating snacks, everything, and uh, she's moving all kinds of stuff as we showed earlier. I'd like to take a second to acknowledge my father-in-law, Albert Schmalo, who's been tremendous with the kids this whole time, driving Leah to school every day. He has been the man. Oh, nice. So to sum up, we're just past the seven month mark on Lauren's recovery and her progress has been remarkable. Her right side is getting stronger and stronger. As you saw in the video, she can move hand, feet, leg, arm, her core, her left side starting to come too. And she knows what it feels like. Cause she, she remembered when her right side woke up. So, um, left side Hi. starting to come as well. Right, buddy. <laughs> uh, we added some members to the team the last week or two. This great medical masseuse named Laura Tuis is really helping Lauren move and loosen up. And we've got some uh, physical therapy and occupational therapy coming to the house now, in addition to going out 
patient physical and occupational therapy. So Lauren getting her workout on and uh, it's definitely paying off. Meanwhile, this kid right here, Isaac Berg, is almost ready to walk. Uh, he just passed 10 months in, uh, and, and he weighed in yesterday. I weighed him at 21.7 pounds. Leah, who's three years old, Weighs 27 pounds. So, question is, let's take a poll here. When will this guy pass his sister and weigh more than her? When do you think? Rob Schmalo thinks July 4th when he has a piece of apple pie. So, that's that. But we want to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day. And we, uh, we just are very grateful for all of the help from everybody. Caregivers, family, nannies, friends, relatives, coworkers. Um, all the donations, all the help. Austin Heldman, for sure, has been incredible, as we've said. But, uh, yeah, we just, we're just keep keep moving forward. Just keep pushing here. Lauren's doing a hell of a job, and um, she's resting right now. It's Mother's Day. We're letting her rest. So say goodbye, Isaac. <laughs>